Well, we have another Naples adventure ahead of us tonight. This should be fun because we've been out on the water, but we haven't tried this particular boat yet. We are going to go out on Naples Bay, and I think we should show everybody what we're doing, so let's get to it. All righty. Well, welcome back to the channel. I'm Terry with MVP Realty. I'm Rich with MVP Realty. And we are going to take you with us as we do some more exploring around the Naples area. It's one thing to be purchasing a home here and getting settled. It's another to really appreciate what I think people often refer to as the Naples lifestyle. It is, and what draws people to Naples? And there's a lot of different things that do, and That's this is right. certainly one of them. Well, the sunshine is one. Right. The sunsets that go with that sunshine the are another. water, I mean, it's just amazing. Absolutely, right? so if we could combine all of that right. and have a little bit of an adventure on the water with some food mm -hmm. and a sunset, right. should have all the ingredients for a really fun evening. This is great, and you know, this is one of the few places that you can actually go to one side of Florida and get the sunrise, drive on over to the to the west side and see the sunset all in one day. Here in Naples, we'll take the sunset part. Absolutely. We will. So tonight we're going to go on the Naples Princess. Right. Now that's one of several um, boats that are here on Naples Bay that will take people out on sightseeing tours or dinner cruises all the way out to the Gulf of Mexico mm -hmm. and back. Right. And usually you hear a little bit about the history of Naples and some of the early neighborhoods and maybe right. some of the, the lifestyles of the rich and famous who may have <laughs> lived here along the way. So we'll see what we uh, get on the guided tour tonight. Right. But it is going to be um, one of the dinner type cruises. This mm. one's called More Than Hors d'oeuvres. Right. We'll check it out. But you can do this as an afternoon cruise, a sunset cruise, dinner cruise. It's offered a lot of different ways. Right. So um, I think this will be something that maybe people haven't tried yet. I've and, been looking uh, forward to it ever since you made the reservation, really. And I'm so glad we look like we should get a real sunset oh, tonight. It's, it's gorgeous. This yep. is wonderful. So we invite everybody to come along with us. We'll be getting on soon and more to follow. Let's do it. We will.
So on our right, the large yellow building you see over there is the Naples Yacht Club. This is being in the top six best yacht clubs in the country. It is a rather exclusive club. And if you are interested in joining there, you're gonna have to put your name on their rather extensive waiting list. Once you are a member there at the Yacht Club, you'll have the privilege of renting one of their boat slips. And this is particularly interesting because we have very few rental marinas here in Naples. Most slips in this town are sold and purchased outright. And we very cleverly refer to these as dockaminiums. The large building in front of our dock, for example, is another form of dockaminium. This is what we call a high and dry or rack and stack storage facility, which can accommodate vessels up to about 30 feet in length. Purchasing a slot in these rack and stacks will set you back between $30,000 and $200,000. Whereas wet slips in the area are a little pricier. They run from $150,000 to well over $1 million. So keeping a vessel in these waterways can be rather expensive. Now, ladies and gentlemen, just a brief interruption of the narration. At this time, the hors d'oeuvres buffet is now open in the main salon. Once again, the hors d'oeuvres buffet is now open in the main salon. Thank you. Now, we are traveling southbound down the Gordon River this evening, which actually begins far upstream as a freshwater runoff from the Everglades and does ultimately empty into the Gulf of Mexico. Our local inland waterways are affected by tidal changes of up to about three and a half feet each day, and we are currently sailing on the beginnings of an outbound tide. And the water levels here in the coastal bays are dropping as the water flows out to the Gulf of Mexico. Now traveling back in time for a little history of our area, the Calusa Native Americans occupied this region for about 2,000 years. For the most part, they were gone by the 15th century. The Spaniards landed here in the 16th century, and in the early 1800s, the Seminole Native Americans were prevalent in this region, primarily along the coastline of Lake Okeechobee. Lake Okeechobee, the literal translation there being Big Water, is the largest lake here in Florida, and that can be found just to the north and east of us, right in the center of our state. Now, way back in 1885, famed industrialist and developer Hamilton Distant
Well, this has been a really relaxing ride so far. Yeah, I, did you pick out your next house? Oh, there are a few, <laughs> but I think I need a few part-time jobs. Yeah. Well, <laughs> on top of full-time jobs, on top of an inher inheritance, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> the heck with the house. I just wanted to... I, there's a couple of boats there that I'd I like to I saw you uh, <laughs> giving really big eyes to some of those boats as we went by. Oh, yeah. We are almost out to the Gulf of Mexico, so it's really neat to see this ride with the Naples Princess come all the way down the Gordon River, yep. along the mangroves, and along some of the kind of founding neighborhoods and communities that really right. became old Naples, mm -hmm. the beginnings of Naples. And a lot of history there. A lot of history. Um, you can really just see the shoreline is what developed first and right. early. And yep. when they talk about what it cost back in the 50s or something I to know. get a lot, and it was... If only our parents would have come down then, the right? <laughs> Well, I can see the sun starting to go down here over the Gulf, what oh, do you yeah. think? Yeah. Pretty nice night to be out. It's always such a really beautiful sunset here in Naples. It really is beautiful. This is just one of the prettiest sunsets I've seen in a long time. Oh, it's really nice and we're not getting any sand in our shoes either. <laughs> no sand in my <laughs> shoes, no. This is a very comfortable way to get out here. On the water is the way to go and it's just so wide open so peaceful and even looking back at the shoreline really very very nice and you can see it's not overbuilt there's still a lot of landscaping and open spaces there, just part it of really Naples. Is. It's, it's not like what you'd find in other parts of shore cities uh, that that are very well built out there's still so much here uh, to enjoy and you know we're not the only boats out here tonight there's a lot of a lot of boats out here tonight people are really enjoying this beautiful weather and beautiful end of the day very nice. Well, we'll take a look and enjoy a little bit more. Now, if you found something helpful, enjoyable about our episode today, I hope you'll give this episode a thumbs up. Yep. And we really appreciate it if you also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Mm -hmm. And why would somebody do that? Well, you can do that uh, because you'll be notified every time that Rich and Terry make a video about what's going on in Naples, whether it's the housing market or whether it's just things to do around town. That's right. We'd love to take you with us as we're doing our work and while we're enjoying the Naples lifestyle ourselves. So if you've already subscribed, thank you very much. You're helping our channel to grow. And if not, subscribing is free and it's as easy as hitting the subscribe button and turning on notifications. So you will be notified every time we post a new episode to the channel. Right. Thanks so much. Now there's an awful lot going on here in the Naples housing market. And in order for you to stay up to date with everything that's going on, I can explain a little bit more about our current statistics, days on market, if sellers or the buyers are happier right now, a little bit for both. So check out this video here in the upper right hand corner and hear all about it. And that's where you get serious. This is for fun. That's serious. That's right. Meet me over there and we'll learn a little bit about the market. Absolutely. <laughs>